Azerbaijanis or Azeris Azerbaijani, Azbaykanlılar Azerbaijanlılar, Azriler Adriler, are a Turkic-speaking ethnic group living mainly in the Iranian region of Azerbaijan and the sovereign former Soviet Republic of Azerbaijan. They are the second most numerous ethnic group among the Turkic peoples after Anatolian Turks. They are predominantly Shi'i Muslims, and have a mixed cultural heritage, including Turkic, Iranian, and Caucasian elements. They comprise the largest ethnic group in the Republic of Azerbaijan and by far the second largest ethnic group in neighboring Iran. The world's largest number of ethnic Azerbaijanis live in Iran, followed by the Republic of Azerbaijan. Following the Russo Persian Wars of 1813 and 1828, the territories of the sublime state of Iran in the Caucasus were ceded to the Russian Empire, and the treaties of Gulistan in 1813 and Turkmenche in 1828 finalized the borders between Russia and Qajar Iran. The formation of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic in 1918 established the territory of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Despite living on two sides of an international border, the Azeris form a single ethnic group. However, northerners and southerners differ due to nearly two centuries of separate social evolution of Iranian Azerbaijanis and Azerbaijanis in Russian, Soviet-influenced Azerbaijan. Azerbaijani language unifies Azeris but centuries of separation have led to significant differences in the grammatical and lexical structures of the language. Additionally, Turkish and Azeri are mutually intelligible to a high enough degree that their speakers can have simple conversation without prior knowledge of the other, which prompted some Turkic linguists to classify their relationship as a Western Oghuz dialect continuum. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> of Azerbaijan Azerbaijan is believed to be named after Atropates, a Persian satrap governor who ruled in Atropadine modern Iranian Azerbaijan circa 321 BCE. The name Atropates is the Hellenistic form of Atirpat which means guardian of fire, itself a compound of Ator fire later garbled into Adur and then into Ar Adur in early New Persian, and is pronounced Azar today plus Pat suffix for guardian, lord, master Pat in early Middle Persian, Bad Bad in New Persian. Present-day name Azerbaijan is the Arabicized form of Azerbaijan. The latter is derived from Aderbadagan, itself ultimately from Aderpatakan meaning the land associated with satrap Aderpat and, here garbled into Khan, is a suffix for association or forming adverbs and plurals, e.g., Gilan land associated with Gil people. Ethnonym The modern ethnonym Azerbaijani, or Azeri, refers to the Turkic peoples of Iranian Azerbaijan and Republic of Azerbaijan. They historically called themselves or were referred to by others as Muslims, Turks, Turkmens, Persians, or Ajams by Kurds that is to say that religious identification prevailed over ethnic identification. When the Southern Caucasus became part of the Russian Empire in the 19th century, the Russian authorities, who traditionally referred to all Turkic people as Tatars, defined Tatars living in the Transcaucasus region as Caucasian or Aderbejansky Tatars in order to distinguish them from other Turkic groups. The Russian Brockhaus and Efren Encyclopedic Dictionary, written in the 1890s, also referred to Tatars in Azerbaijan as Aderbians, Aderbaidzani but noted that the term had not been widely adopted. This ethnonym was also used by Joseph Deniker. The purely linguistic grouping does not coincide with the somatological grouping, thus the Aderbaijani of the Caucasus and Persia, who speak a Turkic language, have the same physical type as the Hajemi Persians, who speak an Iranian tongue. In Azerbaijani language publications, the expression, Azerbaijani nation, referring to those who were known as Tatars of the Caucasus first appeared in the newspaper Kashkal in 1880. <laughs> History of Azerbaijan Ancient residents of the area spoke Old Azeri from the Iranian branch of the Indo-European languages. In the 11th century AD with Seljukid conquests, Oghuz Turkic tribes started moving across the Iranian plateau into the Caucasus and Anatolia. The influx of the Oghuz and other Turkmen tribes was further accentuated by the Mongol invasion. Here, the Oghuz tribes divided into various smaller groups, some of whom, mostly Sunni, moved to Anatolia i.e., the later Ottomans and became settled, while others remained in the Caucasus region and later, due to the influence of the Safavia, eventually converted to the Shia branch of Islam. The latter were to keep the name, 
Turkmen or Turkoman. For a long time, from the 13th century onwards they gradually Turkified the Iranian-speaking populations of Azerbaijan historic Azerbaijan, also known as Iranian Azerbaijan and Shirvan Azerbaijan Republic, thus creating a new identity based on Shia and the use of Oghuz Turkic. Today, this Turkic-speaking population is known as Azerbaijani. <laughs> Ancient period Caucasian-speaking Albanian tribes are believed to be the earliest inhabitants of the region where the modern-day Republic of Azerbaijan is located. Early Iranian settlements included the Scythians Kingdom in the 9th century BC. Following the Scythians, the Medes came to dominate the area to the south of the Aras River. Ancient Iranian people of the Medes forged a vast empire between 900 and 700 BC, which the Achaemenids integrated into their own empire around 550 BC. During this period, Zoroastrianism spread in the Caucasus and in Atropatene. Alexander the Great defeated the Achaemenids in 330 BC, but allowed the Median satrap Atropates to remain in power. Following the decline of the Seleucids in Persia in 247 BC, an Armenian kingdom exercised control over parts of Caucasian Albania. Caucasian Albanians established a kingdom in the 1st century BC and largely remained independent until the Persian Sassanids made their kingdom a vassal state in 252 AD. Caucasian Albania's ruler, King Erner, went to Armenia and then officially adopted Christianity as the state religion in the 4th century AD, and Albania remained a Christian state until the 8th century. Sassanid control ended with their defeat by Muslim Arabs in 642 AD, through the Muslim conquest of Persia. Topic. Medieval period Muslim Arabs defeated the Sassanids and Byzantines as they marched into the Caucasus region. The Arabs made Caucasian Albania a vassal state after the Christian resistance, led by Prince Javanshir, surrendered in 667. Between the 9th and 10th centuries, Arab authors began to refer to the region between the Kura and Aras rivers as Aran. During this time, Arabs from Basra and Kufa came to Azerbaijan and seized lands that indigenous peoples had abandoned. The Arabs became a land owning elite. Conversion to Islam was slow as local resistance persisted for centuries and resentment grew as small groups of Arabs began migrating to cities such as Tabriz and Maragah. This influx sparked a major rebellion in Iranian Azerbaijan from 816 to 837, led by a local Zoroastrian commoner named Babak. However, despite pockets of continued resistance, the majority of the inhabitants of Azerbaijan converted to Islam. Later, in the 10th and 11th centuries, parts of Azerbaijan were ruled by the Kurdish dynasties of Shadadid and Rawadid. In the middle of the 11th century, the Seljuk dynasty overthrew Arab rule and established an empire that encompassed most of Southwest Asia. The Seljuk period marked the influx of Oghuz nomads into the region, who are considered to be the founding stock of modern Azeri people. The emerging Turkic identity was chronicled in epic poems or distans, the oldest being the Book of Didi Korkut, which relate allegorical tales about the early Turks in the Caucasus and Asia Minor. Turkic dominion was interrupted by the Mongols in 1227, but it returned with the Timurids and then Sunni Kara Kwayunlu Black Sheep Turkmen and Aq Kwayunlu White Sheep Turkmen, who dominated Azerbaijan, large parts of Iran, eastern Anatolia, and other minor parts of West Asia, until the Shia Safavids took power in 1501. <laughs> Early modern period The Safavids, who rose from around Ardabil in Iranian Azerbaijan and lasted until 1722, established the foundations of the modern Iranian state. The Safavids, alongside their Ottoman archrivals, dominated the entire West Asian region and beyond for centuries. At its peak under Shah Abbas the Great, it surpassed its political and ideological archrival the Ottoman Empire in military strength. Noted for achievements in state building, architecture, and the sciences, the Safavid state crumbled due to internal decay mostly royal intrigues, ethnic minority uprisings and external pressures from the Russians, and the eventually opportunistic Afghans, who would mark the end of the dynasty. The Safavids encouraged and spread Shia Islam, as well as the arts and culture, and Shah Abbas the Great created an intellectual atmosphere that according to some scholars was a new, golden age. 
He reformed the government and the military, and responded to the needs of the common people. After the Safavid state disintegrated, it was followed by the conquest by Nader Shah Afshar, a Shia chieftain from Khorasan who reduced the power of the Gulat Shia and empowered a moderate form of Shiism, and, exceptionally noted for his military genius, making Iran reach its greatest extent since the Sassanid Empire. The brief reign of Karim Khan came next, followed by the Qajars, who ruled what is the present-day Azerbaijan Republic and Iran from 1779. Russia loomed as a threat to Persian and Turkish holdings in the Caucasus in this period. The Russo-Persian Wars, despite already having had minor military conflicts in the 17th century, officially began in the 18th century and ended in the early 19th century with the Treaty of Gulistan of 1813 and the Treaty of Turkmenche in 1828, which ceded the Caucasian portion of Qajar Iran to the Russian Empire. While Azerbaijanis in Iran integrated into Iranian society, Azerbaijanis who used to live in Iran, were incorporated into the Russian Empire. Modern period in Azerbaijan After the collapse of the Russian Empire during World War I, the short-lived Transcaucasian Democratic Federative Republic was declared, constituting what are the present-day republics of Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia. This was followed by March Day's massacres that took place between March 30 and April 2, 1918 in the city of Baku and adjacent areas of the Baku Governorate of the Russian Empire. When the republic dissolved in May 1918, the leading Musavit party adopted the name Azerbaijan for the newly established Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, which was proclaimed on May 27, 1918, for political reasons, even though the name of Azerbaijan had always been used to refer to the adjacent region of contemporary northwestern Iran. The ADR was the first modern parliamentary republic in the Turkic world and Muslim world. Among the important accomplishments of the parliament was the extension of suffrage to women, making Azerbaijan the first Muslim nation to grant women equal political rights with men. Another important accomplishment of ADR was the establishment of Baku State University, which was the first modern type university founded in Muslim East. By March 1920, it was obvious that Soviet Russia would attack the much needed Baku. Vladimir Lenin said that the invasion was justified as Soviet Russia could not survive without Baku's oil. Independent Azerbaijan lasted only 23 months until the Bolshevik 11th Soviet Red Army invaded it, establishing the Azerbaijan SSR on April 28, 1920. Although the bulk of the newly formed Azerbaijani army was engaged in putting down an Armenian revolt that had just broken out in Karabakh, Azeris did not surrender their brief independence of 1918-20 quickly or easily. As many as 20,000 Azerbaijani soldiers died resisting what was effectively a Russian reconquest. The brief independence gained by the short lived Azerbaijan Democratic Republic in 1918-1920 was followed by over 70 years of Soviet rule. After the restoration of independence in October 1991, the Republic of Azerbaijan became embroiled in a war with neighboring Armenia over the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Modern period in Iran. In Iran, Azerbaijanis such as Sitar Khan sought constitutional reform. The Persian Constitutional Revolution of 1906-11 shook the Qajar dynasty. A parliament majlis was founded on the efforts of the constitutionalists, and pro-democracy newspapers appeared. The last Shah of the Qajar dynasty was soon removed in a military coup led by Reza Khan. In the quest to impose national homogeneity on a country where half of the population were ethnic minorities, Reza Shah banned in quick succession the use of the Azerbaijani language in schools, theatrical performances, religious ceremonies, and books. Upon the dethronement of Reza Shah in September 1941, Soviet forces took control of Iranian Azerbaijan and helped to set up the Azerbaijan People's Government, a client state under the leadership of Saeed Jafar Peshevari backed by Soviet Azerbaijan. The Soviet military presence in Iranian Azerbaijan was mainly aimed at securing the Allied supply route during World War II. Concerned with the continued Soviet presence after World War II, the United States and Britain pressured the Soviets to withdraw by late 1946. Immediately thereafter, the Iranian government regained control of Iranian Azerbaijan. According to Professor Gary R. Hess, On December 11, an Iranian force entered Tabriz and the Peshavari government quickly collapsed. 
Indeed the Iranians were enthusiastically welcomed by the people of Azerbaijan, who strongly preferred domination by Tehran rather than Moscow. The Soviet willingness to forego its influence in Iranian Azerbaijan probably resulted from several factors, including the realization that the sentiment for autonomy had been exaggerated and that oil concessions remained the more desirable long-term Soviet objective. Topic. Origins of the Azerbaijani people In many references, Azerbaijanis are designated as a Turkic people, due to their Turkic language. Modern-day Azerbaijanis are believed to be primarily the descendants of the Caucasian Albanian and Iranian peoples who lived in the areas of the Caucasus and northern Iran, respectively, prior to the adoption of a Turkic language and culture. Historian Vladimir Minorsky writes that largely Iranian and Caucasian populations became Turkic-speaking. In the beginning of the 11th century the Guz hordes, first in smaller parties, and then in considerable numbers, under the Seljukids occupied Azerbaijan. In consequence, the Iranian population of Azerbaijan and the adjacent parts of Transcaucasia became Turkophone while the characteristic features of Adharbaijani Turkish, such as Persian intonations and disregard of the vocalic harmony, reflect the non-Turkic origin of the Turkicized population. Thus, centuries of Turkic migration and settlement in the region helped to formulate the contemporary Azerbaijani ethnic identity. Turkification. Turkification of the Azerbaijanis derives from the Turkic settlements in the area now known as Azerbaijan, which began and accelerated during the Seljuk period. In the year 1025, about 40,000 families of Oghuz Turks migrated to the area of Caucasian Albania present-day Azerbaijan, which was predated by the settlement of 12,000 Turkic Khazars in the 7th–8th centuries. The migration of Oghuz Turks from present-day Turkmenistan, which is attested by linguistic similarity, remained high through the Mongol period, as many troops under the Ilkhans were Turkic. By the Safavid period, the Turkic nature of Azerbaijan increased with the influence of the Kazilbash, a Turkic group that was the backbone of the Safavid Empire. Most academics view the linguistic Turkicization of predominantly non-Turkic speaking indigenous peoples and assimilation of small populations of Turkic tribes as the most likely origin for the people of Azerbaijan. Genetic research on the Azerbaijani people supports the view that the Azerbaijanis originate from a native population long resident in the area who adopted a Turkic language through a process of elite dominance i.e. a limited number of Turkic settlers had a substantial cultural impact but left only weak patrilineal genetic traces. Iranian origin The Iranian origins of the Azerbaijanis likely derive from ancient Iranian tribes, such as the Medes in Iranian Azerbaijan, and Scythian invaders who arrived during the 8th century BC. It is believed that the Medes mixed with Manai. Ancient written accounts, such as one written by Arab historian al Masudi, attest to an Iranian presence in the region. Archaeological evidence indicates that the Iranian religion of Zoroastrianism was prominent throughout the Caucasus before Christianity and Islam. It has also been hypothesized that the population of Iranian Azerbaijan was predominantly Persian speaking before the Oghuz arrived. This claim is supported by the many figures of Persian literature who came from regions now populated by ethnic Azerbaijani and who wrote in Persian prior to and during the Oghuz migration, such as Katran Tabrizi, Shams Tabrizi, Nizami Ganjavi, and Kagani. It is also supported by Nojit al Mahala's anthology, Strabo, al Istakri, and al Masudi, who all describe the language of the region as Persian. The claim is mentioned by other medieval historians, such as al Mukadasa. Encyclopedia Iranica says, The Turkish speakers of Azerbaijan, Q, V, are mainly descended from the earlier Iranian speakers. The continued presence of pockets of Iranian speakers, Talish and Caucasian Tats, are present in Azerbaijan. Topic. Caucasian origin According to Encyclopædia Britannica, The Azerbaijani are of mixed ethnic origin, the oldest element deriving from the indigenous population of eastern Transcaucasia and possibly from the Medians of northern Persia. There is evidence that, despite repeated invasions and migrations, Aboriginal Caucasians may have been culturally assimilated, first by ancient Iranian peoples and later by the Oghuz. 
Considerable information has been learned about the Caucasian Albanians including their language, history, early conversion to Christianity. The Udi language, still spoken in Azerbaijan, may be a remnant of the Albanians' language. This Caucasian influence extended further south into Iranian Azerbaijan. During the first millennium BC, another Caucasian people, the Manaeans Manai, populated much of Iranian Azerbaijan. Weakened by conflicts with the Assyrians, the Manaeans are believed to have been conquered and assimilated by the Medes by 590 BC. <laughs> Genetics Genetic studies demonstrate that northern Azerbaijanis are more closely related to other Caucasian people like Georgians and Armenians than they are to Iranians or Turks. Iranian Azerbaijanis are genetically more similar to northern Azerbaijanis and the neighboring Turkic population than they are to geographically distant Turkmen populations. However, it is also significant that the evidence of genetic admixture derived from Central Asians specifically haplogroup H12, notably the Turkmen, is higher for Azerbaijanis than that of their Georgian and Armenian neighbors. Iranian-speaking populations from Azerbaijan the Talish and Tats are genetically closer to Azerbaijanis of the Republic than to other Iranian-speaking populations Persian people and Kurds from Iran, Ossetians, and Tajiks. Such genetic evidence supports the view that the Azerbaijanis originate from a native population long resident in the area who adopted a Turkic language through a process of elite dominance, i.e. a limited number of Turkic immigrants had a substantial cultural impact but left only weak patrilineal genetic traces. The mtDNA subclade U7A4 peaks among the modern inhabitants of Azerbaijan 26% and Azerbaijani inhabitants of northwestern Iran 16 to 22% while occurring in the rest of Iran at frequencies from 2 to 16%. MTDNA analysis indicates that Persians, Anatolians and Caucasians are part of a larger West Eurasian group that is secondary to that of the Caucasus. While genetic analysis of mtDNA indicates that Caucasian populations are genetically closer to Europeans than to Near Easterners, Y chromosome results indicate closer affinity to Near Eastern groups. Iranians have a relatively diverse range of Y chromosome haplotypes. A population from central Iran Isfahan shows closer similarity in terms of haplogroup distributions to Caucasians and Azerbaijanis than to populations from southern or northern Iran. The range of haplogroups across the region may reflect historical genetic admixture, perhaps as a result of invasive male migrations. In a comparative study 2013 on the complete mitochondrial DNA diversity in Iranians has indicated that Iranian Azeris are more related to the people of Georgia, than they are to other Iranians, as well as to Armenians. However the same multidimensional scaling plot shows that Azeris from the Caucasus, despite their supposed common origin with Iranian Azeris, cluster closer with other Iranians e Persians, etc., than they do with Iranian Azeris. Other studies support that present-day Iranian main genetic stock comes from the ancient autochthonous people and a genetic input from eastern people would be a minor one. Thus, Iranian Azeris have the closest genetic distance to Iranian Kurds and there is no significant difference between these two populations and other major ethnic groups of Iran. <laughs> Demographics and society The vast majority of Azerbaijanis live in the Republic of Azerbaijan and Iranian Azerbaijan. Between 11.2 and 20 million Azerbaijanis live in Iran, mainly in the northwestern provinces. Approximately 8 million Azerbaijanis are found in the Republic of Azerbaijan. A diaspora of over a million is spread throughout the rest of the world. According to Ethnologue, there are over 1 million speakers of the northern Azerbaijani dialect in southern Dagestan, Estonia, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. No Azerbaijanis were recorded in the 2001 census in Armenia, where the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict resulted in population shifts. Other sources, such as national censuses, confirm the presence of Azerbaijanis throughout the other states of the former Soviet Union. Ethnologue reports that one million South Azerbaijanis live outside Iran, but these figures include Iraqi Turkmen, a distinct though related Turkic people. In Azerbaijan. Azerbaijanis are by far the largest ethnic group in Azerbaijan over 90%, holding the second largest community of ethnic Azerbaijanis after neighboring Iran. 
The literacy rate is very high, and is estimated at 99.5%. Azerbaijan began the 20th century with institutions based upon those of Russia and the Soviet Union, with an official policy of atheism and strict state control over most aspects of society. Since independence, there is a secular democratic system. Azerbaijani society has been deeply impacted by the war with Armenia over Nagorno-Karabakh, which has displaced nearly one million Azerbaijanis and put strain on the economy. Azerbaijan has benefited from the oil industry, but high levels of corruption have prevented greater prosperity for the masses. Despite these problems, there is a renaissance in Azerbaijan as positive economic predictions and an active political opposition appear determined to improve the lives of average Azerbaijanis. In Iran While population estimates in Azerbaijan are considered reliable due to regular censuses, the figures for Iran remain questionable. Since the early 20th century, successive Iranian governments have avoided publishing statistics on ethnic groups. Unofficial population estimates of Azerbaijanis in Iran range from 16% by the CIA and Library of Congress up to 40% by Azerbaijani nationalists. An independent poll in 2009 placed the figure at around 20-22%. Nevertheless, regardless of the highest or lowest estimates or publications, Azerbaijanis in Iran comprise by far the second largest ethnic group in the nation as well as by far the largest minority ethnic group. Furthermore, once again regardless of any estimate or publication, the number of Azerbaijanis in Iran by far outnumber the amount of Azerbaijanis in the neighboring Azerbaijan Republic, and comprise the largest number of ethnic Azerbaijanis in the world. Azerbaijanis in Iran are mainly found in the northwest provinces, West Azerbaijan, East Azerbaijan, Ardabil, Zanjan, parts of Hamadan, Kazvin, and Markazi. Azerbaijani minorities live in the Korva and Bayar counties of Kurdistan, in Gilan, as ethnic enclaves in Galuga in Mazandaran, around Lotfabad and Dargaz in Razavi Khorasan, and in the town of Ganbad e Kabas in Golestan. Large Azerbaijani populations can also be found in central Iran due to internal migration. Azerbaijanis make up 25% of Tehran's population and 30.3% to 33% of the population of the Tehran province, where Azerbaijanis are found in every city. They are the largest ethnic groups after Persians in Tehran and the Tehran province. Many Azerbaijanis have emigrated and resettled in large numbers in Khorasan, living beside linguistically related Khorasani Turks, especially in Mashhad. Generally, Azerbaijanis in Iran were regarded as a well integrated linguistic minority by academics prior to Iran's Islamic Revolution. Despite friction, Azerbaijanis in Iran came to be well represented at all levels of political, military, and intellectual hierarchies, as well as the religious hierarchy. Resentment came with Pahlavi policies that suppressed the use of the Azerbaijani language in local government, schools, and the press. However, with the advent of the Iranian Revolution in 1979, emphasis shifted away from nationalism as the new government highlighted religion as the main unifying factor. Within the Islamic Revolutionary Government there emerged an Azerbaijani nationalist faction led by Muhammad Qasim Shariatmadari, who advocated greater regional autonomy and wanted the constitution to be revised to include secularists and opposition parties, this was denied. Islamic theocratic institutions dominate nearly all aspects of society. The Azerbaijani language and its literature are banned in Iranian schools. There are signs of civil unrest due to the policies of the Iranian government in Iranian Azerbaijan and increased interaction with fellow Azerbaijanis in Azerbaijan and satellite broadcasts from Turkey and other Turkic countries have revived Azerbaijani nationalism. In May 2006, Iranian Azerbaijan witnessed riots over publication of a cartoon depicting a cockroach speaking Azerbaijani that many Azerbaijanis found offensive. The cartoon was drawn by Mana Niastani, an ethnic Azerbaijani, who was fired along with his editor as a result of the controversy. One of the major incidents that happened recently was Azeri's protests in Iran 2015 started in November 2015, after children's television program Fidileha aired on 6 November on state TV that ridiculed and mocked the accent and language of Azeris and included offensive jokes. As a result, hundreds of ethnic Azeris have protested a program on state TV that contained what they consider an ethnic slur. Protesters chanted, Stop racism against Azeri Turks, long live Azerbaijan, and end the Persian racism. 
Demonstrations were held in Tabriz, Urmia, Ardabil, and Zanjan, as well as Tehran and Karaj. Police in Iran have clashed with protesting people, fired tear gas to disperse crowds, and many demonstrators were arrested. One of the protesters, Ali Akbar Mortaza, reportedly died of injuries in Urmia. There were also protests held in front of Iranian embassies in Istanbul and Baku. The head of the country's state broadcaster Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting IRIB Mohammad Sarafraz has apologized for airing the program, whose broadcast was later discontinued. Despite sporadic problems, Azerbaijanis are an intrinsic community within Iran, and living conditions of Azerbaijanis in Iran closely resemble those of Persians. The lifestyles of urban Azerbaijanis do not differ from those of Persians, and there is considerable intermarriage among the upper classes in cities of mixed populations. Similarly, customs among Azerbaijani villagers do not appear to differ markedly from those of Persian villagers. Azeris are famously active in commerce and in bazaars all over Iran their voluble voices can be heard. Older Azeri men wear the traditional wool hat, and their music and dances have become part of the mainstream culture. Azeris are well integrated, and many Azeri Iranians are prominent in Persian literature, politics, and clerical world. There is significant cross-border trade between Azerbaijan and Iran, and Azerbaijanis from Azerbaijan go into Iran to buy goods that are cheaper, but the relationship was tense until recently. However, relations have significantly improved since the Rouhani administration took office. Subgroups There are several Azerbaijani ethnic groups, each of which has particularities in the economy, culture and everyday life. Some Azerbaijani ethnic groups continued in the last quarter of the 19th century. Major Azerbaijani ethnic groups Irams Afshars Bayat Kuradagas Kazilbash Karapapak Paydar tribe 2 9 Tarakim 10 11 Shasavan 2 12 13 14 Tribes of Karada Kajars 15 Kashke Topic Diaspora Topic Women In Azerbaijan, women were granted the right to vote in 1917. Women have attained Western-style equality in major cities such as Baku, although in rural areas more reactionary views remain. Violence against women, including rape, is rarely reported, especially in rural areas, not unlike other parts of the former Soviet Union. In Azerbaijan, the veil was abandoned during the Soviet period. Women are underrepresented in elective office but have attained high positions in parliament. An Azerbaijani woman is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court in Azerbaijan, and two others are Justices of the Constitutional Court. In the 2010 election, women constituted 16% of all MPs 20 seats in, total in the National Assembly of Azerbaijan. Abortion is available on demand in the Republic of Azerbaijan. The human rights ombudsman since 2002, Elmira Suleymanova, is a woman. In Iran, a groundswell of grassroots movements have sought gender equality since the 1980s. Protests in defiance of government bans are dispersed through violence, as on 12 June 2006 when female demonstrators in half Tir Square in Tehran were beaten. Past Iranian leaders, such as the reformer ex-president Mohammad Khatami promised women greater rights, but the Guardian Council of Iran opposes changes that they interpret as contrary to Islamic doctrine. In the 2004 legislative elections, nine women were elected to parliament majlis, eight of whom were conservatives. The social fate of Azerbaijani women largely mirrors that of other women in Iran. Culture In many respects, Azerbaijanis are Eurasian and bi-cultural, as northern Azerbaijanis have absorbed Russo-Soviet and Eastern European influences, whereas the Azerbaijanis of the south have remained within the Turco-Iranian and Persianate tradition. Modern Azerbaijani culture includes significant achievements in literature, art, music, and film. Topic. Language and literature 
The Azerbaijanis speak Azerbaijani, a Turkic language descended from the Western Oghuz Turkic language that became established in Azerbaijan in the 11th and 12th century CE. Early Oghuz was mainly an oral language, and the later compiled epics and heroic stories of Didi Korkut probably derive from an oral tradition. The first accepted Oghuz Turkic text goes back to the 15th century. The first written, classical Azerbaijani literature arose after the Mongol invasion. Some of the earliest Azerbaijani writings trace back to the poet Nasimi died 1417 and then decades later Fuzuli Ismail I, Shah of Safavid Persia wrote Azerbaijani poetry under the pen name Khatai. Today I have come to the world as a master. Know truly that I am Haydar's son, I am Faradin, Khosrau, Jamshid, and Zahak. I am Zal's son, Rostam, and Alexander. The mystery of I am the truth is hidden in this my heart. I am the absolute truth and what I say is truth. I belong to the religion of the adherent of the Ali, and on the Shah's path I am a guide to everyone who says, I am a Muslim. My sign is the crown of happiness. I am the signet ring on Suleiman's finger. Muhammad is made of light, Ali of mystery. I am a pearl in the sea of absolute reality. I am Katai, the Shah's slave full of shortcomings. At thy gate I am the smallest and the last servant. Modern Azerbaijani literature continued with a traditional emphasis upon humanism, as conveyed in the writings of Samad Vergun, Shahrayar, and many others. Azerbaijanis are generally bilingual, often fluent in either Russian in Azerbaijan or Persian in Iran. As of 1996, around 38% of Azerbaijan's roughly 8 million population spoke Russian fluently. An independent telephone survey in Iran in 2009 reported that 20% of respondents could understand Azerbaijani, the most spoken minority language in Iran, and all respondents could understand Persian. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. The majority of Azerbaijanis are 12 Shia Muslims. Religious minorities include Sunni Muslims mainly Shafi'i just like other Muslims in the surrounding North Caucasus, Christians, Jews, and Baha'is. An unknown number of Azerbaijanis in the Republic of Azerbaijan have no religious affiliation. Many describe themselves as cultural Muslims. There is a small number of Naqshbandi Sufis among Muslim Azerbaijanis. Christian Azerbaijanis number around 5,000 people in the Republic of Azerbaijan and consist mostly of recent converts. Some Azerbaijanis from rural regions retain pre-Islamic animist or Zoroastrian-influenced beliefs, such as the sanctity of certain sites and the veneration of fire, certain trees and rocks. In Azerbaijan, traditions from other religions are often celebrated in addition to Islamic holidays, including Noruz and Christmas. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Azerbaijanis have increasingly returned to their Islamic heritage as recent reports indicate that many Azerbaijani youth are being drawn to Islam. Topic. Performing arts Azerbaijanis express themselves in a variety of artistic ways including dance, music, and film. Azerbaijani folk dances are ancient and similar to that of their neighbors in the Caucasus and Iran. The group dance is a common form found from southeastern Europe to the Caspian Sea. In the group dance the performers come together in a semicircular or circular formation as the leader of these dances often executes special figures as well as signaling and changes in the foot patterns, movements, or direction in which the group is moving, often by gesturing with his or her hand, in which a kerchief is held." Solitary dances are performed by both men and women and involve subtle hand motions in addition to sequenced steps. Les Ginka, a dance shared by all Caucasus-derived or Caucasus-influenced ethnic groups, is also popular amongst Azerbaijanis. Azerbaijani musical tradition can be traced back to singing bards called ashiks, a vocation that survives. Modern ashiks play the saz lute and sing distans historical ballads. Other musical instruments include the tar another type of lute, balaban a wind instrument, kamancha fiddle, and the dhol drums. Azerbaijani classical music, called mugam, is often an emotional singing performance. Composers Yuzir Hajibiov, Gera Garayev and Fikret Amarov created a hybrid style that combines Western classical music with Mugam. 
Other Azerbaijanis, notably Vajif and Aziza Mustafa Zadeh, mixed jazz with Mugam. Some Azerbaijani musicians have received international acclaim, including Rashid Bebudov, who could sing in over eight languages, Muslim Magomayev, a pop star from the Soviet era, Gugush, and more recently Sami Yusuf. After the 1979 revolution in Iran, Azerbaijani music took a different course. According to Iranian Azerbaijani singer Hossein Alazada, Historically in Iran, music faced strong opposition from the religious establishment, forcing it to go underground. As a result, most Iranian Azerbaijani music is performed outside of Iran amongst exile communities. Azerbaijani film and television is largely broadcast in Azerbaijan with limited outlets in Iran. Some Azerbaijanis have been prolific film makers, such as Rustam Ibragambakov, who wrote Burnt by the Sun, winner of the Grand Prize at the Cannes Film Festival and an Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film in 1994. Many Iranian Azerbaijanis have been prominent in the cinematic tradition of Iran, which has received critical praise since the 1980s. Sports Sports have historically been an important part of Azerbaijani life. Horseback competitions were praised in the Book of Didi Korkut and by poets and writers such as Kakani. Other ancient sports include wrestling, javelin throwing and fencing. The Soviet legacy has in modern times propelled some Azerbaijanis to become accomplished athletes at the Olympic level. The Azerbaijani government supports the country's athletic legacy and encourages youth participation. Football is popular in both Azerbaijan and Iranian Azerbaijan. There are many prominent Azerbaijani football players such as Ali Daei, the world's all-time leading goal scorer in international matches and the former captain of the Iran national football team. Azerbaijani athletes have particularly excelled in weight lifting, gymnastics, shooting, javelin throwing, karate, boxing, and wrestling. Weight lifters, such as Iran's Hossein Reza Zadeh, world super heavyweight lifting record holder and two-time Olympic champion in 2000 and 2004, or Hadi Saei is a former Iranian-Azerbaijani taekwondo athlete who became the most successful Iranian athlete in Olympic history and Nizami Pashayev, who won the European heavyweight title in 2006, have excelled at the international level. Chess is another popular pastime in Azerbaijan. The country has produced many notable players, such as Timur Rajabov, Bugar Gashimov and Shariar Mamadyarov, both highly ranked internationally. See also List of Azerbaijanis Peoples of the Caucasus Iranian Azerbaijanis Azerbaijan Iran. Peoples of the Caucasus in Iran Topic. References Topic. External links <laughs>